Hi and thank you for joining me today for a very special last day of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. Obviously today is th day 31 because it's October we're having 31 sketches instead of 30 and today's sketch is by Brianna Spores and we're all joining Brianna in celebrating her reaching 500 subscribers on her channel. So congratulations Brianna, I'm thrilled for you and I'm honoured to be able to create this layout um, thinking of you while I do it. So Brianna asked us all to um, scrap Halloween as it is Halloween today. So I delved into the archives and these photos are of my daughter dressing up as a pumpkin witch back in 2009. <laughs> She's so cute. And I just had the series of photos and I found four that worked really nicely. So I started off with two film strips from the 49 and Market Spectrum Gardenia collection. And then I cut a circle film from a uh, black card using one of our Hey Little Magpie dies and then a green circle from the Spectrum Gardenia paper again just an off cut that I had in from the Hero Arts die uh, it's a set of two dies one slightly larger than that one and that one and it I just thought they worked really nicely to follow that sketch now I have had to mirror the sketch because the way that my photos were it just didn't work trying them the other way around so that's why they're this way around <clears throat> excuse me I'm losing my voice a bit today so I've put, now pulled out my Halloween envelope. I just have an envelope of all things Halloween. Um, obviously, I don't have hundreds and hundreds of photos to scrap of Halloween, so I don't need lots of product, but I just pulled out what I have, and I'm going to work with that. So first of all, using, I think it was a Bella Boulevard, uh, no, it's a Pebbles paper here, and I've used the orange grid on one side and also this candy cane um what are they called? I forget what candy corns, aren't they? Um, on the other side. So I'm just creating some layers behind the photos. And you can see that top photo of Amelia I've put in a frame from Spectrum Gardenia. The other three photos I matched onto white cardstock just to create a thin white border around them. And now I'm going through my Halloween papers to map them. So I've used that candy corn paper and the grid, which is the same paper on the two um portrait photos and then this landscape photo I'm just using a different orange with orange polka dots on just a tone on tone so I've gone through and distressed all the edges of all those papers and now I'm going to start sticking things down and you can see the background paper that I've used is also from Spectrum Gardenia it's one of the foundation papers and it's the white background I love this paper honestly I could take a whole pack of it and use it it's great if you don't want to create your own mixed media and it's just gives a little subtle background rather than using a stark white cardstock so i'm working out how to lay all these photos down and now i'm just going to go through and add some wet glue behind them to put them in place i am going to tuck things behind so i'm just keeping the glue to the middle of the photos this also provides a bit of texture because they do tend to t curl up a tiny bit and i really like the look of that in my albums so adding some glue to this film strip and then I can tuck that in behind and then I'll do the same with this green circle. I'm really enjoying my dies at the moment. Do you use a die cutting machine? I've got a big shop but I'm considering switching it out for the We Are Memory Keepers um, machine that we just started stocking at Hey Little Magpie to see how that goes, the revolution. I've heard good things about it so it'd be good to try it. If you've had a revolution do let me know what you think. So I'm just continuing to tuck things around. This happy tag is from Spectrum Gardenia again. And as is this orange piece and this tab, which I actually switch out for a black one. So that orange notebook piece is from the um, Essentials collection, the laser cuts. And then this green ticket is from the die cuts from Spectrum Gardenia. So I'm just focusing in on the greens and oranges and blacks on this layout. And then I will bring in some golds as well, of course. So just getting all that glued down. Again, just use my wet adhesive because it's quick and easy. And I can move things around a little bit if I need to. So that works for me. This is a, just an off cut of a ticket that I had in my box. So I decided to bring that in as well. And that will go up at the top on the left hand side of the green ticket in the end. Just there. And I really like that little cluster of three with that notebook paper in the green ticket. And that tab, the black tab that I've put at the top, that will I will write on there the date. So Amelia was two 
Um, she was born in June and obviously this is the end of October so she was just over two in these photos and they're just so cute. She really wasn't sure about that hat. She pulled it off and then decided maybe she did want it on. So she was trying desperately to get it back onto her head but it wasn't easy. <laughs> So just layering up some bits and pieces now. Again, this label is from the Spectrum Gardenia collection. So just tucking that under there. I just like all the different layers, really. Um, this heart gets moved around and around. It does end up there, but um, I did pull it off soon to add something else. <laughs> just trying to think what I did next. Oh, I added this little green heart at the bottom of that. Um, photo just trying to create a little cluster down here of some li some little bits and pieces so I will dig into my Halloween stash in a minute of ephemera and again all these well they're stickers really all these bits are just held in that one plastic envelope on my shelf so I love this pumpkin so he had to go on there because she's dressed up as a pumpkin witch and then this little black cat because which witch isn't complete without her little black cat and I've got two of these Pebbles um, puffy stickers. I must have really liked them. <laughs> so uh, adding that boo from the more complete set. I wasn't sure at this stage whether I was having a title or not. So I thought that boo would work as a title if I wanted one. So just adding some of these candy corns around because I've got an awful lot of them left on the sheets. So layering a couple up down the bottom and I've put one at the top by that ticket. And then just seeing what else is on here. And I like that little black bird. So he gets added down to the bottom there. So as I say, I'm just going to write the date on here. 31st of October 2009. And then adding a little puffy bat from those same puffy stickers. And then these are some of the JD 3D print bats. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I just wanted to add some of those and I'm adding some at the top here and then one in the bottom left hand corner. So it looks like the cauldron of bats are flying up diagonally across the page. And I really like the look of that. So I have gone a little bit off the sketch now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brianna, I try really hard, but um, I start with good intentions and then just get carried away embellishing. <laughs> My mind just takes me somewhere else. I forgot to look at the sketch again, if I'm honest. So. I do apologise, but I hope you like my rendition. <laughs> so just going through this 6x12 sticker sheet now. This is another Pebbles one. And um, there was that little gold foiled sticker that said Happy Halloween. So I thought that would be nice on that picture of Amelia. Wondering what to do next. <laughs> and then um, there's a little pump, another little pumpkin that I tuck behind that puffy one. And then I find this um, big pumpkin, and this is where I decide that that's going to sit where that heart is. So I pull the heart up, stick the pumpkin down, and then in a bit you'll see I do actually pop that heart back exactly where it was. <laughs> now this broom caused me a lot of problems. I thought a witch needs a broom, so I put it there on the right hand side, but I just wasn't happy. It was just sort of hanging out on its own. So I pulled off this gold moon and added that to the top. I was really pleased with that. Um, mess about with this heart a little bit deciding what to do with it but it does go back there so I'm just going to glue that down and then I think this is where I go back to that broom again yeah just not happy so try moving it up a bit still not happy so in the end I do add it to this cluster at the bottom here at first I think I'm going to lay it across the page but then um, I end up tucking it behind that little bird and the candy corns just go to the side of it and I'm much happier with that. It just completes that little cluster there. So now going into this sticker book and I just find one that says, Hey Pumpkin, so that's my title. Hey Pumpkin, because she was my little pumpkin. And then um, just some little spider's web web, one to the corner there at the bottom, one underneath that bottom right hand corner of that right hand photo and then one straight over the film strip circle. And I really love the effect that that gives there. It just kind of finishes that cluster off. It felt a little bit bare before I added that. So there are a couple of little sparkly bits that I'm just adding around the page on this sticker sheet. And then I'm going to finish off with some gold splatters. So I will add all Brianna's details down below along with the playlist of everybody else joining in on Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches Pop. 
and um, there's a Facebook group as well so do go and check that out we've got 13 series for you to look through now thank you so much Christy for this um, series I know a lot of work goes into it and I really do appreciate it so much I've absolutely loved um, joining in once again this series and can't wait for the next one Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love chatting to you all. I've, I've really appreciated all the thumbs up, all the comments, all the new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I shall continue to record every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday now. Thanks again. Bye.